A new president of the Senate was sworn in to replace Gail Phillips, who was dismissed last week by Prime Minister Stevenson King. Leon Theodore took the oath of office at a joint session of the House before the throne speech to open the fifth session of the 19th Parliament. This, the new Senate I, president, Leon, Leon Theodore, Theodore John. John, do affirm that I will faithfully execute the office of president of the Senate without fear or favor, affection or ill will, and that in the execution of the functions of that office, I will honor, uphold, and preserve the Constitution of St. Lucia. I do affirm. Unlike last year, the 2010 throne speech was preceded by the inspection of the honor guard and the brass accompaniments of the Royal St. Lucia Police Band. The speech on the policy and programs to be pursued by the government focused on the economy and national security. The head of state lamented what she says was an eroding social fabric and attacks on preeminent institutions like law enforcement and the judiciary. The governor general says the government's legislative agenda will devote a lot of attention to empowering and enhancing the work of the police. The paramount duty of government, of any government, is to ensure the security of its citizens. We cannot abdicate this duty. We must maintain the rule of law at all times and with all our might protect the judiciary, which is the bulwark of our democracy. But in addition to extending the reach of the long arm of the law, resources will be allocated to social reform programs, education, and increased economic opportunities. The Governor-General outlined the short, medium, and long-term strategy for economic recovery after the worst recession in living memory. Government's economic strategy will be based on identifying and injecting resources into emerging and existing sectors with growth potential, ensuring a sound and credible macroeconomic framework, including the strengthening of revenue collection, rationalization of expenditure, stimulating investment, and long-term debt sustainability. The financial sector will also be subjected to tougher safeguards and a tighter regulatory framework in the aftermath of the global financial crisis. The checks and balances will also apply to the government. At the local level too, government has a duty to protect taxpayers from wastage and loss of public funds as a result of non-compliance with the country's financial laws. Three bills will therefore be tabled in this parliamentary session to require prior parliamentary approval of the full details of government loans and guarantees. The Governor-General says the legislative agenda will include the passage of the amended Labour Code and the progress on constitutional reform and regional agreements like the OECS Economic Union and the Caribbean Court of Justice, the CCJ. The head of state commended the nation's response to a series of tragedies at home and abroad, including the menacing drought, the St. Jude Hospital fire and the devastating earthquake in Haiti. Winston Springer Jr., HDS News, Channel 4.